Today, we're taking a look at the absurd. We've taken Burnley, because of course we've taken Burnley, and we've turned them into this. So as you might know by now, we have a database team that helps us make videos about Football Manager, and they've created this little save file. It says height and jumping range. In it, we've gone into Burnley and made them all 6'11". Now, 6'11 is pretty freaking tall, but I know that's in freedom units, and so it's 210.82 centimeters. We're talking about an incredibly tall individual. But of course, in Football Manager, the actual height of the players is not what determines their height that they can reach while jumping. Their jumping reach does. So the jumping reach of every player on Burnley has now been set to 20. And we are going to see if this accurate depiction of Burnley's just general player base means that they're going to do better in the Premier League or not. But we have added one caveat. There's another team and that team is Brighton. As somebody from outside of England, I couldn't think of a better team to make every single player on the team four foot 11. That would be 149.86 centimeters. But in spite of the fact that they are all 4'11", I have given each player on Brighton 20 jumping reach as well. We have the Mighty Mites against your average Burnley player. It's like 11 Chris Woods against 11 Neil Malpies. And as luck would have it, they play each other in the first match of the season. So this is perfect. We will be attending this match. Showtime. Gotta be honest. It looks kind of normal so far, even though I know that every single player on the field <laughs> is different. That's a, their height difference is the two feet. You know, it's like a third of their entire height. Are we gonna get a walkout? I feel like a walkout would be the way to do this. <gasps> Flip the camera. No. I wanted to see them next to each other. This this looks fair. You know what this looks like? When the varsity team is playing the junior varsity team, that's probably an American reference. Let's go to a sideline view and lower the... There we go. There we go. What's Burnley playing? A 4-4 four, four, two. I'd be disappointed if they weren't. I feel like this experiment would not go well. So apparently we haven't broken the game because this match seems to be pretty balanced and Brighton's actually keeping the majority of the possession right now, which is nice. You know what I didn't think about? The fact that the goalkeeper is 4'11 for Brighton. I feel like that, that, that would be a problem. If you could actually tell the players to shoot. I feel like Tariq Lamptey's is accurate size. The cross! Oh! See, they all technically have the same jumping reach, but I figured because the Burnley players, it would take them a lot less time to get to that height that they'd be just as influential. It might just not matter at all because they're, they're, winning, they're, winning, they're winning the headers anyways. It doesn't matter. Ben Mee's over here flying five feet in the air. It doesn't even look remotely realistic, but it is nil-nil at the half here. I feel like the low center of gravity really helps with that possession style. This is Pep's ideal team right here. Oh, Lamptey. Lamptey! Ah, oh, Tariq Lamptey! Ah! What a tackle. What? Oof. Honestly, right now, it's Mighty Mites over Monsters. Brilliant. Brilliant! Brilliant! Look at this football! This, this freaking 6'11 goalkeeper just has to fall over and he can touch both posts. Is there a goalkeeper that tall in real life? There probably is there. Is there? No, there is no goalkeeper in the world that is this tall. Christoph Van Hout is 6'10". He's an inch shorter. What a header. What a header by Dunk. This Brighton team has been truly exceptional. This, I feel like, should be a slight advantage. But somehow, 4'11", Lewis Dunk has won everything. They, they can't, it can't even visually show what is happening. Oh, this guy's just winning headers. It can't even show it. I want to see this keeper make a save. I want to see this keeper have to make a save. Because I know he has the 20 jumping reach, but at that size, I don't know if the animation can actually handle it. I really don't think it can. Trying to lob the keeper is not a bad plan. Full credit to the monster team. They have won one to nothing here today. Had nothing to do with their height though. So it turns out those mighty mites, those 411 guys with the 20 jumping reach, they're holding their own. So our big boys at Burnley are off to a hot start, but we are going to make it maybe even easier for them because that wasn't weird enough. We're going to take Manchester City, the best team in the Premier League in this game when you're talking like current ability, everything. We're going to make them all 4'11 with one jumping reach, which is actually convenient because we already don't have to change one player. Nathan Ake, he's already that. And so is Raheem Sterling, but that's actually the measurement they took after he had flopped. But the entire Manchester City team is going to get changed to all being 4'11, under 150 centimeters, and having one jumping reach instead of 20. And we will see whether they do better or worse than Burnley. And while 
past me is sitting there and doing that, changing the height of everybody. Let's take a moment to tell you about one of the sponsors of our channel, NordVPN. A lot of people wonder how I keep up with World Cup qualifying so passionately. That's because I have NordVPN. It allows me to send myself through the virtual private network to a lot of different places over the world with the click of a button. It really is that easy. Drop down window, I want to be here, and send yourself there so that you can watch matches live all over the world. The different viewing options that it opens up for you is just a part of the story too, because of course NordVPN does a great job of keeping you safer on the internet because it's bouncing your traffic through somewhere else. So if you're sitting in an internet cafe, your information and everything you're doing there is exposed. If you're going through NordVPN, then you're not exposed. Your internet traffic is going through England or something. And if you're scared, you're worried, you don't know if it's gonna work for you or not, the hint, it will, but there is a 30 day money back guarantee for NordVPN, plus a two year plan and one extra month just completely free. Not to mention it costs like the price of one of those frou frou expensive coffees a month anyways. So that one free month can help you buy that coffee. Check the link out in the description and let's get back to, I believe me being done editing the height of everybody on Man City. Next match, we're going to Burnley Manchester City on December 11th. We'll see how the teams have done by the time we get there. Oh, and of course on goalkeepers, their aerial reach is either on one or 20, depending on what team they're on. Right. Spot check, Manchester City is in third with 29 points from 15 matches. And where is Burnley? Burnley's in sixth. Our monster team is in sixth, 15 matches, 25 points. They are only four points off Man City after our changes. Now, unfortunately, the Mighty Might team is down in uh, down in 14th. We have the great human experiment to attend. The tallest possible team against the shortest possible team. <laughs> It never gets old. So Man City only four points clear of our giant Burnley. I believe this is the moment our giant Burnley can take that giant leap. Somehow they don't have a highlight the first 17 minutes. Oh no, it's City, it's Sterling. Ah! Uh oh, uh oh, it's De Bruyne. Couldn't get it over the wall. Can't imagine why. Oh, get a cross, give me a cross. Cross the ball one time, Gabriel. This is it. This is it. They're all alone. What a save. He probably can't even touch the crossbar. Now this might be a problem. Somehow <laughs> they've kept it out. What a play. It's interesting. Man City feels like the underdog here. Burnley does have more shots, but the better chances are with City. It's that low center of gravity again. Walker. I don't think the cross is going to work. But he kept it low. Oh, he scored! <laughs> City has scored. It's a screamer! Oh, nice goal. Will Burnley find a response? They have to. But they're trying to play cute. They're trying to play you know, with the ball on the ground. There's no way that's going to work. That's the only place that Man City can hang. They got to shoot from every... Oh, here we go. Here we go. They didn't actually score it through the air. But Burnley has equalized. How, how, how do you play a long ball and not win it? That's just a lack of effort. How is this possible? Jumping reach and like size of players and football manager is apparently not the end all be all of being able to actually win these headers because it is 20 to one on, there we go. Thank you. He just lost a header. We saw him. He's an embarrassment to the theory of evolution. And Burnley. Can't lose a header in this match. It's 1-1. Oh, there it is. It's a corner. Of course, it's a corner. It's Burnley's set-piece magic again. The tallest team in the history of the sport strikes first off the set-pieces. Poor Edison. He doesn't even take up a quarter of the length of the goal there. It's got to be a cross. Float it up there, Roberts. McNeil! You just have to hit the target. Come on, Burnley. Come on, Burnley. You just know Miniature De Bruyne is going to pull out all the stops. You just know. Oh, he's won the aerial. Oh, it's almost a fantastic goal. Oh, it's got to be. What a save. You probably couldn't see around 6'11", Nick Pope. But, you know, Burnley's picked up an injury. We're going to have to bring another beefer off the bench. Come on. This is it. It's a corner. This is Burnley's chance. Brownhill, Rodriguez! 
<laughs> I, don't, I really don't think this Henderson can get anywhere near the crossbar because these balls are going right over the top. They're going right over the top of Henderson. He's <laughs> just flailing his arms at it. That's why it's going down is almost no XG because it's not actually a good chance. It's just a header right at the goalkeeper that happens to go in. There it is. The header. The header. Ah, not actually good enough, but... It's a corner. And it's Brown Hill again. They're so dangerous from these. Brown Hill. Wack horse! And it's Bradley again! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> Three goals from corners. Oh, I feel like that's almost par for the course. I don't know what I would have expected, but it needed to be something like that. Woot Wack horse! Actually would have scored against a normal goalkeeper with that. They are docking Ederson's goalkeeper rating for not saving these. He's on a 5.9. That is heightism. Final score, Burnley 4-1. to one, Three goals off corners. Impressive. Now that we've seen our boys in action, let's see how they do at the end of the season. We're going to take a vacation to June 1st, and we'll see where everybody finishes. All right, the league should be over and Burnley is going to Europe baby the monsters finished with 70 points in Manchester City won the league Manchester City still won the league despite the fact that they were all the shortest possible players including the goalkeeper Bernardo Silva led the league in average rating Woot Weghorst had 21 goals. Oh, Woot Weghorst had 21 goals and tied for the golden boot. Bernardo Silva still had 17 assists despite him being 4'11". His skill is temporary. Class is permanent, no matter how tall you become. So the monsters of Burnley have done it. They're in Europe, and I hope you enjoyed this. This was a yeah, <laughs> preposterously stupid experiment that I thoroughly enjoyed as much as I've ever enjoyed anything in my entire life. If you want to watch an accurate simulation of the Premier League, we simmed it 100 times on Football Manager, and these are the results. So check that out. Check out NordVPN, and I will see you on another video or a stream or a podcast. Tumblr.